Hey everyone, welcome back to Finisa Games, and today we'll be playing Tariba. Tariba is an online crane game from Japan. Um, you can download it on your phones, Android or iPhone, um, and tablets. Um, you can also play on the computer. Basically what it is, is a crane game that you can win prizes from Japan. If you win them, they send them to you. You do have to pay. Um, if you sign up, you get four or five first free plays, but it takes a little bit longer to win. Um, and then once you start paying into the system, they do give you a free play every day. If you get more than three prizes um, shipped, they do give you two free plays. It does take a while to win these prizes, so just know that um, one try won't get you the prize. So be cognizant of that and be you know um, responsible with your money because this can be a bit uh, addictive. So let's get to it and let's see some of my winnings from Tariba. So I was looking around and I saw this sort of online Alice little fleece. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty easy, it's on the edge. I was thinking that I can just, you know, pick it up from the front and get it, but the claw was sort of weak, as you can see. So what you have to do when these claws are that weak is that you have to position it in a way of finding which side of the claw is stronger, either the right side or the left side. In this particular situation, the right side of the claw is a stronger claw, so I had to put it more towards um, right side and you see as you can see it picked it up more on the right Boom, and, and this I was lucky in this play two plays got me the price all right so like I said um, you get two free plays so I got two free plays I tried out for this boo this letter G you can see the blue in the back those are could be easy win but no I really I really couldn't get him. The claws weren't that strong, and uh, I decided that I'd rather go somewhere else. So instead, I tried for this Snoopy pen. And here, I thought maybe I should go in the back. I've had really bad luck in playing this particular setup. I really don't know what you know, is the better way. I was stabbing in the front, or in the back. I don't know. I really don't know if you try. So I went back. I was lucky that the claw was strong and it dropped it. That rarely happens on your first try. Like seriously, I was really lucky on this one. Um, so you never know, just try. Here I saw this figure that I have no idea which enemy she's from, but it looked like I could use the left arm and it was, and um, you know, push it off to the side. And it looks strong, as you can see, it did. It did exactly what I wanted to do. I used the left arm, push it down. And typically in this little setup, what you want to do is put it right in the middle, both of them in the middle, and then it picks them up. And I tried that, but it didn't necessarily work as well as I thought it would. Um, I actually hit the bar, which is a big no-no. Um, so I had to obviously change my strategy and I decided instead that the best option is to use more of the right arm and see if, you know, the right arm is strong. Just testing, seeing if it's strong. This time I didn't hit the bar, which is great. And I saw that it was strong. So there's a little part that you can't see. You can actually change the camera angles and see from the side. And it was looking like it just needed a little extra push. So instead, what I'm just going to do is let's use the left arm. Um, because it was just hanging on by the thread. And I hit the bar. And the nose left arm strong. And it went down. So I am waiting in line, position one, um, for this ping pong dropper. And I think this person is going to win. I wanted to end this video on a win, and unfortunately, I'm not going to win it. Um, as you can see, the, the ball is about to fall down, and they're about to win. Right. Oh, no, actually, they're not. Awesome. I hope they don't win. I hope I win. I'm position one. Um, ping pong droppers are very difficult. It's very random. Um, 
and this one in particular, you can't use your free tickets. You have to use uh, money. You have to use your TP. So it looks deceiving because it looks like, yeah, you can win it, but no, unfortunately, it does take a lot. Um, two ways you can win. One, get the ball in that little blue hole. You can see the hole there in the, cur in the pink curvy one. And then in the green curvy, it's right there in the little crease. And then two, take all the balls out of the walk. That's the other way you can win. Um, of course, if you try to take all those balls out of the walk, if you're only picking up two or three every single turn, you can see how many turns it's going to take. And you can see how much money it's going to cost you. Oh, that's a really good position to hold in right now. You can actually pick both of them up in one try. If they don't mess it up. And then they'll win the little green Kirby. <gasps> no way, they gave it to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I'm going to win it. I will win this little green Kirby right here. I can get these last two balls. Oh, no, I went too far. <laughs> oh, darn. There's only two balls left. I can do it. I went too far to the right, to, I went too far above. Okay. I need to calm down and I can do it. All right, my internet's lagging a bit. That's the one thing about this I don't like, is that the internet does lag. Yep. All right, I got one. Now I just need one more, which means I'm gonna have to recharge. So you can see how much it costs. So I am going to win. This little Kirby he is so cute. I think I can do it. I have one ball left. Okay, the perfect. Actually, that's perfect. Oh, almost. I just need that one little Kirby. One little Kirby. And it's done. I can do this. I can do this. I think all I need to do is a tap. Yeah. I think that's all I need was a tap. Yes! There I did. And I won the Kirby. So, when this occurs and you win the Kirby, and you 
got all the balls out. All you need to do now is sometimes it goes straight into maintenance. It didn't, so then I just need to go here, here, and on the exit here. Let me go to account services. My account. Then we go into play history. Dispute price one. Machine. Let's just put Kirby. And confirm. Submit. And I should be told in a little bit that I won the Kirby. All right, guys. And here, as you can see, after submitting the ticket, I got the price. Okay, more play color. And here's a video, like I showed you, of me winning it. Isn't that amazing? I got really lucky with this one. I had no idea that this was going to happen. I was waiting forever for that person. They did all the work. God, someone, I feel sorry for them, but at the same time, I got lucky. So a prize that usually costs 60 bucks, I got it for what, 12? Because I purchased the first 5,000 and then the second 5,000, so that was 12 bucks. Not bad. All right, y'all, if you like this video, please leave a comment, um, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button at the end. And I hope you um, enjoy our videos, interact with them a bit more if you wish to, um, and let us know if you want to see anything else in the future. Until then, this is John with Finny Saint Games. Peace out.